Welcome back to Sweden everyone and especially welcome Mr. Angus Wangus uh, uh, Yeah, uh, <laughs> I lost all my words I'm uh, checking the time here also uh, The wheel is uh, self-oscillating for the moment um, and you can see here that the current draw is about just below 500 milliamps I'm going to change this amp meter because it's too big. Uh, anyway, and um, a quick look at the scope, and uh, you can see that it's well. Actually, you can't see that, but uh, it's uh, charging much much faster in self-oscillating mode than uh, than it is uh, running. But uh, I start her up and. Uh, just because it's uh, fun to have the wheel spinning uh, anyway this is the uh, battery banks uh, power uh, voltage and the battery bank is down below here and it consists of uh, uh, need for batteries uh, to uh, 12 volts uh, actually it's 4 6 volts uh, batteries, but it's uh, wired to 2 volt, 2 12 volts NIFA batteries and one 12 volt uh, car battery, uh, 60 amp hours of that one. And uh, the NIFA batteries, I I'm not sure, but uh, I reckon they are. The whole setup is uh, about uh, two 300 amp hours. Anyway, um, that's my small power inverter, and the next step for this one is to make some kind of uh, remote controlled on and off. Uh, I now have a thumb on and off, uh, and uh, it would be nice to be able to control this from within the, the log house. Anyway, uh, standard Bidini uh, <coughs> circuit. Uh, hard to see the mess here in the. That's the power out, and uh, that's the one and uh, four oh seven something. Um, five filler wound, three coils, and I have uh, a magnet wire here to make uh, a fourth coil. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, that's it. The, the cord, uh, the cord, the uh, power in to the house goes through this extension cord over the floor, the messy floor, quite messy floor, uh, down here and up. Here we go up to the uh, shed roof and down again, following the ground and up here and up there and uh, all the way back in to the log house uh, where I have uh, connected all my uh, indoor lightning uh, to the battery bank. I have uh, changed all the light bulbs to uh, uh, CFLs so uh, uh, but I haven't uh, uh, figured out how many watts they are drawing what's uh, uh, three eleven watts that's uh, thirty three watt and uh, uh, three seven watts uh, uh, fifty four uh, about sixty seventy maybe hundred watts uh, anyway uh, back to the to the <sighs> machine uh, and uh, you can't you can't see the the spikes here but they are above these uh, going up uh, uh, they don't yet but they are they are yeah anyway so this is it
Uh, pro probably the first uh, video of uh, Bedini wheel uh, powering a house. Uh, but uh, there are uh, some uh, small problems yet to be solved. And you can see as it is running, uh, the amperage draw isn't uh, too much of a problem. It stays pretty much the same. So I'm going to stop the wheel now again with my thumb and uh, as you can see it charges much much faster uh, when the transistors are doing all the work uh, I'm powering the wheel from uh, this uh, yellow battery uh, which is now uh, powered by the uh, battery loader, uh, what's it called, and I also have a small uh, solar panel hooked up to it, uh, and uh, uh, the battery, this is going to be left on until uh, uh, later this evening. I, would, I was down to around 12 volts, and uh, Eventually I'm going to try this by switching batteries, um, but I'm going to buy another uh, another one first, or perhaps I will steal one from my car, uh, because of all the snow in here in Sweden. Uh, this is... Uh, my car is quite snowbound, as you can see. The big uh, check-in pickup truck. Um, and by the way, I can swear I saw a polar bear yesterday. It could have been the neighbor, but uh, I think it was a bear. Uh, so it is. Sweden saying goodbye. Uh, but uh, first we'll go in and take a close look at the scope. I love this uh, instrument. And uh, that's the charging of the batteries. Yeah. Bye.